Here's your neighborhood moment, a chance to find out about events, activities, and what's happening in your area. Hi, I'm Kyle Price with the North End Neighborhood Council. Welcome to the North End Neighborhood Moment. With me today, I have Ruth Delanius, who's the uh, she's the, ch uh, the president of the Old Town Business District, uh, and also she's the president of the Cross District Association. And also I have Christina Smyre, who is the president of the Sixth Avenue Business District and a small business owner there as well. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, before we get started, um, I'm going to just say a couple quick things about the, the North End. Uh, first, I think it's important that you, if you have not checked out our Facebook page, please go there and do so, and please like and follow us on Facebook. That's one of the best ways that we reach large segments of the neighborhood. Also, our, uh, our website, www.nenc.org, has a lot of information about the North End and about things that the Neighborhood Council does, and also you can sign up on our website uh, to be on our email list, and our email list now has over a thousand people on it, and that's another way that we're able to reach a lot of households in the North End. So please try to stay connected, and then we can all work to make the neighborhood better. The North End, by the way, if you are not familiar with the boundaries, uh, it extends, there's the water, on the west side it's Orchard, uh, on the south side it's Sixth Avenue, and then it goes sort of around the wedge and around the, the North Slope Historic District, and then Fifth Street is there on the east. Okay, but now let's talk a little bit about the business districts. One of the great features of the North End is the, the charming, walkable business districts that we have. And so that's why we have um, these two ladies on the show with us today. We actually had a, a business district open house or forum sort of thing at a meeting in January, uh, which was well attended and some of the information there might come up again here, um, but it's also just an interesting way to, to look at some of the neat features of the North End. So first, um, I just want to know what makes the districts uh, that, you, that the two of you represent, what makes them, do you think, special or interesting uh, pieces of the North End? So Ruth, why don't you go ahead and, and start? I think part of what makes the Old Town Business District special is that it's kind of where Tacoma started. So we're like the, the beginning of Tacoma. And we um, have the beautiful waterfront. We're a very small district. Um, it's just a great place to be, and it's very walkable, very friendly. There are a lot of professional offices, but it's still very friendly and casual and enjoyable place to be. Christina and, and Sixth Ave? Oh, man. I think uh, just because it's always changing so much, which is fun to kind of watch. It's always been a little grittier, and, but a little bit, you know, artsy and nice, and there's a... a really an array of businesses there, um, family friendly and adult friendly and kind of caters to everybody. Um, but I like to have seen it even just in my four years just grow in the way that it has, kind of trying to still find its identity, but kind of cleaning up too. <laughs> and the other district, of course, in the North End is the Proctor Business District. Um, and on the on these shows in the past, if you've seen them before, we've, we've heard about um, innovative grants in Proctor, but in other places, but also about the Blue Mouse Theater and the Destiny City Film Fest. So um, those are some of the other features that help make the business districts places that people want to visit. Uh, so you also mentioned, or I also mentioned to start the Cross District Association. Uh, and maybe you could say just a few words, and, and I know Christina, you're also, um, you also attend those meetings. Um, so maybe you could say a few words about what the Cross District Association is and what are some of the goals and, and efforts of the district to make these business districts what they are? Uh, the Cross District Association is the collaboration of all the business districts. So there are 10 active business districts in the city of Tacoma and we work together to solve problems that we all have in our districts. Um, earlier, let's see, in 2018 we were able to get additional funding from the city for barricades and so a lot of the districts like 6th Ave just had Art on the Ave, they needed you know, they use a lot of barricades for that event. And so this gave five of those business districts that needed money for barricades an extra $2,000 to mm -hmm. pay for that. So we just work together to try and, and take care of everyone, take care of each business district better. Um, now we're kind of working on, um, we kind of uh, tongue-in-cheek called it trash talk, but we're working on trying to improve garbage service in some of the business districts. Some are okay, some just need a little more, need some revision, more pickup or more containers, things like that. So we just work together to make every district better. 
the, or the best it can be. And you're a little bit newer on the cross district association. What are you, what's your perspective on um, what a dis an organization like that can do for the business districts around Tacoma? Oh man, I think it's so underrated um, just because we have such a large say in the city um, on what can happen and what our issues are. And the city really has carries a lot of weight in what we do say and how we are involved. So having meetings multiple times a week or talking or always communicating with economic development group and, you know, the city manager and other people um, really, I think, is important, obviously, for growing small business in Tacoma. And we are kind of those advocates for that. And I think people sometimes don't really realize so much that we do, how much we do do, you know, to, to communicate with the city and, and to advocate for them and <clears throat> until things actually come to fruition. And then they're like, oh, <laughs> this is what, like the bear gains and other yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. And one of the things you mentioned there is that um, is the small business aspect of it, which um, we have elections for city council. I mean, they're coming up here pretty soon, but also um, they're obviously coming up on a regular basis, of course, too. And one of the things that comes up in a lot of campaigns is how candidates want to help support small businesses. So. I mean, is, are these business districts is, is part of the goal to help build up these these small businesses in, in those ways? And how do you work with city council, or how much support do you get from city council for that kind of those kinds of support? The whole uh, way the barricade program was set up was a direct result of a city council member, Lillian Hunter, got involved, and she just she got it going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when when they get involved like that, and they take uh, they they come to our meetings, they hear an issue and they fix it. I mean, it was like a couple of months, this whole barricade thing started and, and was working. Um, so I think it's, it's really important for the city council to, to be able to listen to the small businesses. And I think it's really important that the, the business owners and the business districts and the cross district associ association are at the table so they can hear what's going on and they can have their input before it's already set up as policy. Instead of fighting City Hall, we want to be at the table so our input is used to make those decisions and those policies. Yeah. And I have to say that I feel um, that as a resident, the residents probably get more representation and are, are better represented at the city council level and business owners are. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we're busy running our businesses, mm -hmm. we're busy doing those activities, and so we don't get a lot of face time with the um, council members. I think that the neighborhood council system gets a lot more attention and funding and different things like that than the business districts do. And I think it's important that we start working together. At the January meeting, when you invited us to the neighborhood council meeting, I was so excited to hear people, the residents say, we love our business districts. Yeah. We want to support them. We want to find out how we can support them. That was really encouraging to me. Huh. You know, one of the... Um well, one of the things about that, because of the love and of the districts, I mean, in the North End, certainly, that um, there's a lot of development pressure also. I mean, people want to build or want to be around those districts. Um, so, Christine, I know in, like, in Sixth Ave, there's that big building going up on Sixth and Alder, and also there's um, new housing that's going up and down the corridor along Sixth Ave. Um, so, what is the, do you have these conversations about development in your um, business district meetings, uh, and, and generally, how is is that something that's pushed in, in places or do you try to like navigate that with the city or how does that work? I think it's a mixture of both. Um, for us, like we, it was really amazing to see what the Six and Alder project was a little unique. They were involved in our conversations early on. The developer comes to every meeting every month. They keep it clean. They keep, it's been actually a really awesome experience to have with them. We even awarded them a Broomy Award because they've kept their area so clean and we wanted to, <laughs> you know, involve them in That's the business cool. district and thank them. And, um, you know, he's always like, thanks for the donuts at our meeting. And it's just great to have him so listen and hear what's going on. We really needed a temporary sidewalk because they closed the sidewalk. I walked down um, and he was on it and he was like, I'm not getting any responses from the city. And we stepped involved and helped out and got that, you know, in action. And so it's been, I think that's a unique um, experience though. Some aren't that way. They don't owe us nothing. Right. Um, but I think our, a lot of the times our districts 
are benefiting from those areas. Hopefully those residents will only, you know, come and frequent and make our district even better by walking around and, and those kind of things. But, um, you know, it's also a difficult journey of, hey, you know, the city sometimes focuses so much on that new development and they kind of forget that the small businesses are what make up Tacoma. And so I think also to piggyback on your last question to city council, like to be anyone in the future or even now to focus on to what's making Tacoma function at the moment and not always what's going to be in the future. Um, that would be probably what we pound sand on every all the time about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, I think it's important to appreciate the businesses that are already here. Yeah. You know, just like which many of them are long standing businesses, which yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah which exactly. residents have come to love, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're pretty close to the end. So what, maybe I could just have you say, I mean, what are your, what's your dream for, what's your, what are your dreams for the business districts? Um, and specifically in, in, the, in the North End, or maybe specifically for your own district that you represent, what do you, what's your dreams for the, for the district uh, heading into the future here? Wow. Um, that every business within the district is a member of the business district and, you know, pay their dues, get involved, so all of the events can be even better than they are. That, mm -hmm. that would be my dream for Old Town. Mm -hmm. I think so the same. I always say this all the time, but we're a bunch of volunteers that spend a lot of yeah. time working and advocating for the businesses. And yet there's still a bunch of, where's my value? Mm -hmm. um, I just hope more they see that more and more. And, um, you know, and then it attracts other businesses to come to our area and more people to open up their own businesses and feel supported and, and feel like this is an okay journey to go on with us. I just want to say thank you for uh, adding value to <laughs> to our neighborhood because uh, I think it draws not just businesses when you have a business district that's thriving, but it also draws residents who want to live around these districts because people like the amenities that they're able to walk to and and people do enjoy the small businesses because those are things that are, I mean, small businesses everywhere of course, but they're unique to the place that they're that they're in, yeah. which is mm -hmm. something that makes the business districts and also Tacoma a special place. So thank you for helping add those thank good you. things to the neighborhood. Thank you. And thank you for um, being on the show today. Uh, it, was, it was great hearing about um, the business districts and what you hope to see and, and, and what's out there. Hopefully people watching, you support our local businesses and you go walking and shopping mm -hmm. in Sixth Avenue and Old Town and Proctor and of course in business districts around the city. So for the North End Neighborhood Moment, uh, I'm Kyle Price. Hopefully you'll join us next time where I'm sure we'll talk about some other great things that are going on in the North End. For more information on what's going on in your neighborhood, log on to the city's website, cityoftacoma.org slash neighborhood councils.